friends, it's Carrie. Welcome back to my channel. Today is card number nine in my holiday card series for 2017. And today I'm going to be using this stamp set here from Avriel. It's called Merry Flowers. And I want to go ahead and stamp this down twice and then emboss it twice. Once in a uh, gold embossing pattern and then the other time in silver. And um, I want to go ahead and apologize now that of my uh, recent abrupt of videos. I fell sick or got sick last Wednesday over the Thanksgiving holiday and I've been down and out ever since. So I apologize for the lack of videos here lately within the last week. <clears throat> So if you hear if you hear anything, I do have a cough drop in my mouth. So hopefully I can get through this without coughing. <laughs> so anyway, I have gone ahead, as you can see, and embossed both of my images. I'm just going to show you the one. And I'm going to speed the video up here. And I'm going to do some watercoloring with my real my Zig Clean Real Cush <laughs> my Zig Clean Real Brush Markers. And um, I'm just using the all the colors that I'm using will be listed above so you can just have them for reference if you'd like to, because some people I know like to have them as references. And I'm going to just simply watercolor these images with these markers using my water brush. Some of the images that I will be using, or some of the images that I will be coloring, some of the smaller images, I just go ahead and color without um, using the water brush. I just use the marker itself because the image is so small that there's really no point so um, I'm just kind of going and I think I missed on one of the leaves in the upper right. I think I missed a section. I don't know if I ever went back now that I see that in editing. <laughs> I don't know if I ever went back to fix that. But um, anyway, so moving on, we are going to go ahead and finish up the leaves and then start with the flowers. And I wanted a more softer uh, pinky red on the bottom leaves. And so that's why I'm using the Carmine Red, because this is a pinkier red. And then for the top flowers, since it's, since it's got a little bit more detail on them, I wanted those to have a little bit more contrast. So I'm using the Wine Red on these. And then I'm just going to get that darker color toward the centers there, and then pull that out with my water brush. And then I wanted it just a little bit darker. So I'm, what I'm doing is adding brown. And this is really a great... Uh, way to add brown to contrasting red. It really does deepen up that red and it really does give that a lot of contrast to uh, your image here. So you can see how that turns out. It really does give it a, a nice different, different, different look to the flower there. So I started out by you just using the color here uh, just straight on because like I said the image was so small that there's no point of using the water brush to blend it out. So I'm just going to continue on to color in these flowers. And um, again, I apologize for the lack of videos within the last week. Like I said, I feel sick, as you can probably still hear it. Um, and, I've, and I really hated that I had to have the downtime. But obviously my body is telling me to slow down. So, and I'm actually um, blessed and lucky that I am off of my regular job this week. I actually took off some extra time to enjoy the uh, holiday and then um, also this is the week of my birthday which is Sunday and it kind of sucks that I feel sick but I am actually a little bit better today than I have been in the last five days. So that's why I am able to get a video up for you guys and I'm hoping that you enjoy it. So we're going to continue on and I wanted these little images here. This is a little flower image and I wanted just to kind of leave it white but I didn't just want to do anything to it so I'm adding a gray color and just giving a little bit of shadow and it really does bring out that flower and it really does make it appear that it is white. So I'm just going to continue on to finish up these little bud images and then uh, we will go ahead and take the coordinating die that comes with this set. It's absolutely a beautiful set. I absolutely love it, especially whenever it's die cut. It just really just makes it pop. So I'm just going to finish that up and you can see there how it looks with the coordinating die once it's cut out. Absolutely beautiful. So now we're going to work on the rest of our cards. I'm going to make two of them, two of them obviously. So I've taken a piece of red cardstock and white, and I have run that through my die cut machine with a with this die here, the wood green backdrop from Lawn Farm. Also took some more pieces and ran them through my die cut machine with this die here from MFT. It's like a border die, and then also 
<clears throat> excuse me, this one here from uh, Mama Elephant, which is the Femme Frames. And we're going to continue to uh, put these elements together and create our cards. So first, before I start doing anything, I wanted to create my sentiment strips. So I'm taking the Merry Christmas sentiment out of this set here. And I'm going to prep my cardstock, as you can see there, with my anti-static powder tool. And then I'm going to ink up these stamps with my Versamark ink and stamp these down because I'm going to emboss these like I did the uh, flower images. I wanted everything to obviously coordinate together. So it's really easy to do just to stamp these down. And then once I get these heat embossed, then I'm going to take a die uh, from my Blueprints 27 uh, die set. And it's, there is uh, several different banners, the banner shapes in it. But I'm going to take the one that's got the stitching on the edge. And it really did fit this sentiment strip or the sentiment really, really well. It just kind of complemented it, you know, really, really nicely. So I'm going to continue on to heat emboss these and make sure they're good and melted. And then take that die and put that down with them um, and adhere it with some sticky tape. This is my micropore tape. I really do like using this tape to adhere uh, my dies to my cardstock because it's thin enough that it won't tear my cardstock. So I have run those through my die cut machine and now you can see how those sentiment strips turned out really perfectly there. And now I'm going to go ahead and start assembling my card. I wanted to pop this little portion up here that we're going to put at the top of the card. So I wanted to pop it up. And then so I took some of my foam adhesive and add, added that to the panel here. And then once I get that down, I'm going to add my little flower. And that's what gave me the idea of using that one die from MFT because I thought it would be a nice, it kind of fit that angle really, really nice. So um, that's what kind of jived my, my car design today. So I'm going to also pop up the edge of this flower and then add some liquid glue to the top edge and then it will kind of hang off as you can see there. Get that really into good into place and make sure it adheres to my cardstock. And then I'm going to add some foam adhesive to my sentiment strip. I just kind of put a block there so make sure the glue was um, adhering to the cardstock. And then adding some more foam adhesive to my sentiment strip and get that into place. And then I'm also going to pop up these uh, panels here uh, onto my card base, which is also the same red card stock. So I'm going to add some foam adhesive on the back of each ca card stock panel. And obvi obviously you can tell that I'm only showing you basically one assembly because it's, everything's the same. I'm, I'm not doing anything different to either card. So I'm popping this one up as well and getting all the backings off and then putting this onto my white card, card base and then onto my red. And you can see how that gives it really nice dimension and uh, pulls it all together. And then I'm going to go ahead and take the backings off of this one as well and then put the uh, panel onto my red card stock. And then our cards are pretty much finished. I didn't want, I thought about adding some gems and or anything like that, but I really wanted the flowers to be the star of the show. So all I'm going to do for our final embellishment is add some um, clear wind Costella. So whenever you add Wink of Stella to, if you do um, watercoloring like this with these markers, you got to be careful because um, obviously it will move the ink a little bit. So just kind of dab it on there like I did and it won't move your color too much. But you can see the final results here. I'm going to show you some uh, close-up shots and everything. Thank you guys so much for watching my channel. I really do appreciate it. All the supplies will be listed and linked below the video as always. Uh, and again, thank you so much for being patient with me as I uh, had to come back from my sickness. And I will catch you on my next video. Thanks for watching.